Welcome back to Let's Play The Heist, the DLC chapter for Spider-Man 2018. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to give a shout-out to Justin Jones, who says, Jameson is absolutely right about, quote, honorable ma mafia types. They aren't. Not at all. And again, I am quoting these words. Uh... <laughs> They, Mafia types, go on and on about their honor codes, but they're only honorable until they're not. There are a couple of former Mafia types with YouTube channels, Michael Francisi and uh, Sammy the Bull Gravano. Apologies if I got any of those any of that wrong. Francisi is uh, the gentleman and claims to be a retired mob boss. There's more the gentleman and claims to be a retired mob boss. I believe that he is reformed now, but he hints at some of the really fucked up things that he did when he was still in. Sammy, on the other hand, is brutally honest about his former life and makes no apologies. He tells a story about how he was asked to handle a group of teens that kept trashing a playground late at night. He goes and talks to the kids and warns them that if they don't clean up after they're done, he'd take your fucking heads off with a baseball bat. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of that. Just, oh dear. I feel like if uh, I had formerly been a uh, criminal like that, I wouldn't be talking about it in public. But, uh... We... have to help Black Cat save her son. Or at the very least, put a stop to uh, Hammerhead's plan. So let's do this! Ooh. Can I? No, I can't. There was a fucking thing right there. Photo op. Ah, well. So, what are we looking at? Got a tip from an old friend. Hammerhead's keeping something extremely valuable in that office above the bar. A lot of guys in there. If they spot me, my son's dead. I'll draw them out. Then you sneak in. Or you could just knock out those seven guys. My hero. Come on. <laughs> Please. I really like that you could see the, uh, the green light reflecting on her hair. Oh boy. Go ahead, no, not that one, and make myself uh, less visible. What was that about? I don't normally hear that unless uh, spider bots running around doing stuff. That is a lot of fucking dudes. Every single one of them is marked as danger. I can't grab any of them with the, uh... Hmm. So what do you think about working with the cat? Bad idea. I wouldn't trust her to hold the door open for me. Hmm. Well, I'd be more than happy to hold the door open for her. You're a real gentleman. But seriously, no way we don't get double-crossed. You worry too much. We've had a couple of good grabs with her. Plus, no way the boss would leave something to chance. As long as we're running all the family territories by the end, I'll be happy. That's the spirit. You want another drink? I just impaled yeah, that guy. Supposed to be watching the door. Don't want to get too loose. A mob guy with a work ethic. God help us all. And one for you. Shouldn't have gone into the corner. Now you're a pinata. Oh, that guy is safe. And who can see... Oh! Well, then in that case, let me just go ahead and... And then I'll just scooch down a bit. Oh, I don't really need to scooch that far at all. I could do a ton, a ton of dudes up here. That came out entirely wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, wait. Oh, if I trigger battle focus, will it make everyone notice me? 
Yeah, fuck it. If it does, I'll just load. Could be at the game right now. Yoink! At least you're not worried about the game, right? Like if I turned around and the guy had been talking to, or the guy had been looking at, which was instantly gone, I feel odd about that. If he wasn't supposed to be wandering. Oh, sick. Now the guy he's talking to is missing. And... Oh, right. I think they're on to you. I thought I could build up a bunch of focus uh, during this sequence and then use it during the fight, but I forgot that focus drains off when you're not in a fight. Ah, uh, well. I got something. Hammerhead recently bought a room-sized, impenetrable vault to store his most high-value items. Like a kidnapped kid? Any indication where the vault is? Pardon me a moment. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, armor, and... Fuck it, this could be important. Uh, where is the other one? There it is. You would think, after all this time, that I would remember you would be wrong. No details yet, but I've got more books to go through. Keep looking! Ah! I guess you're the barman now. I can handle this cloud. Okay. I guess you can. I mean, I gave him a chance. Fucking getting stuck on all this crap. Trying to hit him with it, but not actually throw it at him. Because that'll knock him on the ground. Enough of this crap! Everyone hit him at once! That's a minigun, dude. Oh! You've gotten soft in your old age. Old age? Hey, I might be older, but I'm not old. He's like 23, man. I just want to mention here, for Justin's sake, that uh, the cut it opened with a bunch of guys running out. One guy charges Spider-Man immediately. He just grabs that guy and throws him straight up in the air. And then it shoots. The camera zips up to show Black Cat on her way down. She grabs that guy and throws him face first into the dirt before landing neatly beside Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't think he had a very good five seconds, that guy. Oh, dear. Can you guys just get off lunch break or something? Oh dear. You picked the best thing. Heads up, spider. Not the right. Hey, I had that one. No, you didn't. Ah! Okay, enough of this. I'm gonna go 
this, and then do this. Quality over quantity. Nice hook. You checking out my gear? No, I just never mind. Gotcha. Uh. incoming. Holy fuck, you just can't get those guys webbed to the ground. Do you mind leaving some for me? Am I moving too fast for you, Spider? We make a good team. Ah! Don't get used to it. Spider. Oh, they're... Oh, they just tag teamed that guy. <laughs> Wine! Of course! This is a perfect time for this. No, maybe not. Not whiskey. Champagne! Did you find the location of the vault? No. But we're narrowing it down. And it's definitely where he's keeping my son. Yeah, speaking of him, uh, there's an overdue conversation we... Uh. Do you ever miss this? What? Me getting shot at while you steal things? Tch. Rude. I really tried Fair. going straight. Got a job that didn't involve breaking or entering. Even started wearing sweatpants on weekends. I wondered where you went. Must have been hard for you, especially with a child. I need to go deeper if I'm gonna find him. Let me help. If we're supposed to be working together... Some things I do better alone. Some things. I'll call you if I need an extra pair of hands. That doesn't usually happen. She used her grappling hook to do the upside down Spider Man thing. Or they're face to face, but she's upside down. Hey, MJ. Did you get any good info from that laptop? I'm still decrypting the data. Should have something soon. Good. In the meantime, we've got another lead. We think Hammerhead's keeping her son in a vault, but we don't know where the vault is. Once I crack these files, maybe we can combine my chocolate with your peanut butter. Do not make a saucy joke out of that. It's hard to resist a setup like that, but I'll hold the sauce. Thanks, MJ. You know what you're <laughs> uh, okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. But there's nothing happening out in the city. Oh dear. Well, I guess I could try one of these uh, screwball missions and try to get a higher score. I did suck at that one. Was there only the one gadget challenge? I guess so. Hmm. It is weird they picked those two gadgets. I wanted to check that if that was the case. Oh, wait, wait. There was a thing near here. Oh, the tavern we were just fighting in front of, the Black Wing Tavern. Oh, the stage at the Black Wing Tavern, specifically. That's a keeper. 34 to 50. Not bad. Bar fights are nothing new in this town. But the one that cleared out the Black Wing Tavern wasn't just your typical beer-fueled brawl. That particular establishment has, let's say, alleged ties to the Magia. Guess who was right smack in the middle of it? 
Spider-Man and the Black Cat. Dude. At this point, I think it's fair to ask, who is on whose side here? Are Spider-Man and the Cat working for rival Magia families? Or the same one? Or, and remember, I always think ten steps ahead, are they starting their own family? Huh? 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 It would explain a lot about why Spider-Man, who clearly has no respect for the law, takes down criminals. Less competition for him and his gun mall floozy. Hey, that's just uncalled we for. We might just have Bonnie and Clyde in spandex on our hands. I mean, all of it is uncalled for, yes, but... Man! Called her a fucking floozy? Peter, I finally decrypted that laptop. You know that room-sized vault you were talking about? I found a record of it being delivered to a shipyard near Hell's Kitchen. That's gotta be where the boy is. Thanks, MJ. Better call Felicia. At this hour, it's either a booty call, or you found something. Damn. Hopefully your son. I'm sending you an address. Meet me there. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I've been waiting for an opportunity since this started. <laughs> Where was it? There was a red ah red newspaper box. Oh, street performers are getting good. This guy almost looks Man, you just watched me drop from the top of that roof. Deadly family feud. Magia rivalries out of control. Snapped up. Roxon hires facial tracking whiz. What's wrong? Oh, that is what Phil Chang did, isn't it? Fuck. Uh, judge this cover. Police track missing mob yeah, book. What a dick. Where's Lee? You know what? Do Gas run and op-ed Watanabe for mayor. Oh. I mean, I'd vote for, uh, Yuri. No way! That saved my life! Which is kind of sad, but it is! Oh, dear. It would be cool is if you, like, did the bit of super jump from the ground or started web-slinging and you heard someone go, Oh, shit! That was really him! Like, not necessarily, like, oh, you have to have it follow that line. Just, you know, have them say that. The one I've always found weird is that a lot of the movie universes suggest that the comics exist in those universes. Like, uh, like the X-Men comics explicitly exist in the X-Men film universe. Fancy. It's a fountain in, uh... Forbid he has to experience 30 seconds of culture. Should you just be standing here like that? You uh, like that? would you believe if I don't, New York will explode? <laughs> it's three green statues of uh, women dancing in a circle with what appear to be sprigs in their hands, just random cuts of branch. Oh, 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 there's Cleopatra's needle. We, we saw that earlier. Well, we talked about that, and then I couldn't find it again. I'm Spider-Man! See? No one ever gets it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, this is a uh, spectacular. I just wanted to see if it was the same one, to be perfectly frank. Guess I gotta play no, no, rules. trip mine and suspension matrix. Oh, I looked it up. It was not Polly Perrette who, uh, voices Screwball. I was completely unfamiliar with the name, actually. Which I should have written down, because I've immediately forgotten it. Hmm. That doesn't feel good. So I guess, you know, the Explore the City thing qualified me taking one picture and, uh, getting, and listening to a, uh, podcast there. I'm just waiting for, like, the DLC that adds a mission where you have to rescue Jameson in person. He hates it when that happens. I 
remember. Sp oh, hey, it's the Fisk building. I remember Spider-Man uh, 2000 had uh, a mission where uh, you discover that once again, uh, Scorpion wants Jameson dead. So you need to beat Scorpion to the uh, Daily Bugle. Like literally, there was a meter at the top of the screen showing like, your progress and Scorpion's progress, and you had to get there first. Probably won't surprise you to learn that Jameson was not the slightest bit uh, thankful when I found him. I don't know what's up with that last mission because, well, you know, they do that whole thing where, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll lure them out, you sneak in and steal the thing, and that made sense to me. Except then more guys appeared, and Black Cat dropped down and fought them with me. And I'm thinking, well, is she, like, you know, are we gonna, like, make sure those guys go into solitary and can't call their uh, their friends to tell them the Black Cat's not actually on their side. And then fucking Jameson gets on the air and immediately says that she was fighting mob guys. Man. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted, I wanted to look at a thing. This is either going to make things better. This is either going to make us feel, you know, warm, or it's going to make us feel awful, and I'm not sure which, because it's been a while since I don't, so I don't remember the exact wording, but... Oh, damn! Okay, that's embarrassing. I wanted to listen to the, uh, the podcast called May from Queens, but I don't have access to any of the, uh, JJJ broadcasts from the main game, just the ones that have broadcast in the DLC. Which one is Hornswoggled? Guess who's confirmed to be back in town? That feline felon, the Black Cat. Seems she led Spider-Man on a merry chase before getting away. Ever notice how that happens a lot with him and her? Funny how he can hold on to a dinosaur man or a human rhino with no problem, but a mere slip of a girl gives him so much trouble. Look, it's not that long ago when I was a young man myself, I get it. A nice set of gams, a shapely derriere, a few batted eyelashes, and a hormone-addled youth can easily get hornswoggled. Which is exactly why Spider-Man has no business handling this. Leave it to the professionals. Ah, uh, yes, I do remember this now. very vividly. Maybe this is a chance for them to prove they're the as pause good as here. men. Which uh, I have <laughs> no doubt about, but there are less forward-thinking people out there. Oh, boy. Follow the money. It's now or never. We need to get Felicia's son back before something awful happens. That seems like a good call. Well. Oh, yeah, shit. I wanted to mention there, since I, I, I actually wanted to say this the first time I listened to that and then forgot. Uh, there really is a dinosaur man in, uh, in Marvel Comics. Uh, we haven't met him in this game, but he goes by the name Sauron. And, uh, you know, you'd think it's because Sauron is because he's a dinosaur, but in his very first appearance, Sauron explicitly says, There is only one name evil enough for what I have become. The name of, of Tolkien's ultimate villain. The name of Sauron. So yes, he has explicitly named himself after the bad guy from the Lord of the Rings because he's a geneticist and therefore a huge nerd. <laughs> That's so ludicrous. Uh, Sauron used, as I said, ex extremely advanced genetic recombination technology to change himself from being a human being to being a humanoid pterodactyl. He's, uh, completely out of his mind. And his goal is to do the same thing to every other human on Earth. There is a very, very famous uh, panel of uh, Spider-Man confronting Sauron and saying, Are you crazy? With this technology, you could, uh, you could cure cancer! And Sauron responding, in what I can only imagine is just the most childish tone ever, But I don't want to cure cancer! I want to turn people into dinosaurs! <laughs> just, oh boy. Oh, I guess he's kind of like DC's Gorilla Grodd that way, because he wants to turn everyone into uh, intelligent apes. 
Yeah, he doesn't mind humanity because we have the potential to be uplifted into apes. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Heist, the DLC chapter for Spider-Man 2018, when we join forces with Black Cat to save her son, and once again bring the city back to a semblance of peace. Oh, I like that. Spider-Man cracked his knuckles, and I could actually hear it. Till next time, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!